This video shows how to replace the Boss S2 module on a PowerEdge R650. Before you begin, power off the system and disconnect all the attached peripherals. Ensure that you always use ESD protection when working inside the system. For more information about safety guidelines, see the service manual at dell.com forward slash PowerEdge manuals. To begin, first remove the system cover. To do this, if the latch lock is in the locked position, rotate it to the unlocked position. Lift the latch to disengage the cover from the system. Then lift the system cover off. For the Boss S2 card carrier, lift the retention latch to release the Boss S2 card carrier, then slide it from the Boss S2 module. Now, if present, remove the second carrier. Now, to remove the Boss S2 module, first you must disconnect the power and signal cable from the system board. Remove the two screws on the Boss S2 card carrier and slide the module out of the bag. To remove the Boss module cover, remove the screw on it. To install the replacement Boss S2 module, you need to first install the Boss module cover onto the Boss S2 module by sliding the cover and tightening the screw with a screwdriver. Now, slide the Boss S2 module into the bay on the system. Then, replace the two screws on the carrier. You can now connect the power and signal cable to the connector on the system board. Now, slide the Boss S2 card carrier into the Boss S2 module slot, then Close the release latch to lock the carrier in place. Now, replace the second carrier if it was present. Finally, replace the system cover by placing the cover into its position on the system. Lower the latch to engage the cover onto the system. Then, rotate the lock on the top of the system cover to the locked position. You've replaced the Boss S2 module on a PowerEdge R650. If you need more information or assistance, go to dell.com forward slash PowerEdge Manuals.